ex-king Leopold of the Belgians, who is colonel-in-chief of the 5th Royal Enniskilling Dragoon Guards, arrives at Enniskillen for a ceremony in their honour, the granting to the famous unit of the freedom of Enniskillen, the borough which gave them birth two and a half centuries ago. The colonel-in-chief inspects the Guard of Honour. The Belgian royal family's connection with the regiment is long-standing. Leopold I, uncle of Queen Victoria, was its colonel, and Albert I, King of the Belgians in World War I, was its colonel-in-chief, a post in which his son followed him. King Leopold receives the casket containing the Certificate of Freedom, and then on behalf of the regiment, presents a painting of the Battle of the Rhine to the Mayor Alderman T. H. Algel. Next comes the march past. The 5th Royal Enniskilling Dragoon Guards were the fruit of the amalgamation of two regiments, both of which were raised in the last years of the 17th century, the 5th Dragoon Guards raised in the Royal Service, and the 6th Enniskilling Dragoons raised by the town of Enniskillen for its defence, and later embodied in the Royal Army by King William III. Like the household cavalry, this regiment's forerunners were raised in opposing causes, but lived to earn battle honours in a united army.